Welcome back to our course on animal learning. In this lesson, we review various reasons why people are interested in animal learning. Hopefully, one or more of these reasons resonates with you. One of the most common reasons is that you have pets, or you like animals in general. Your pet may be a common one, like the dog on the left, or a less common one, like the giant African rat on the right. In any case, with this course, you will learn a lot about how your pet learns and how it can be trained. Another reason to study animal learning is to train animals, which can be done for various purposes. For example, we know that dogs can be trained to work as support animals, rescue animals, and in law enforcement. Dogs are by far the most common working animals, but they are not the only one. For example, the giant African rat has been successfully trained to sniff bombs and even to sniff tuberculosis in saliva samples. Animals are also commonly trained to act in commercials and in movies. All the animals you see doing complicated things on screen have been trained with the techniques that we will learn about. A third reason to be interested in animal learning is that you want to work in animal welfare or conservation. In the wild, many animals rely extensively on learning in order to survive and thrive. They learn what is good and bad food, what their predators look like, and even what their own species looks like. Without an understanding of how animals learn, conservation efforts are pretty much doomed to failure. For example, if you want to breed bald eagles to reintroduce them into the wild, you must avoid that the eagle learns to recognize people as its own species. If that happens, once it is out in the wild, it will not seek out other eagles and it will not reproduce. Even the welfare of farm animals can be improved significantly by paying attention to what they need to learn in order to thrive. We will see many examples along the way. Learning, of course, is of great importance to humans as well as to animals. Many researchers study animal learning as a stepping stone to understand human learning. The study of animal learning has found applications in education and in other fields, such as in artificial intelligence. For example, the bad guys in some video games can learn about your style of play. The way they learn is often inspired by animal learning. Last but not least, Many psychological ailments depend on learning. As we will see in the course, studying animal learning has helped us tremendously to understand phobias, addictions, PTSD, drug overdose, and other illnesses. I hope these are sufficient reasons to get you interested in animal learning. In the next lessons, we will begin to uncover this fascinating field. This lesson is over. Happy learning to everyone.